Hello, and thank you for taking a couple minutes to familiarize yourself with cross-application tracing. Cross-application tracing occurs in distributed SOA environments where applications are making and receiving calls from one or more New Relic monitored external applications. Identifying when and how your applications are talking to each other will help you solve complex bottlenecks that can affect your critical business applications. So let's get started. As you can see, I've already logged into my New Relic account, and here we're looking at our staging applications overview page but I'm gonna dive right into web transactions. The web transactions overview and individual transaction traces provide detailed cross-application tracing information, enabling us to dig deep into traces and navigate quickly between applications calling out to one another. We can now see a full list of our web transactions. In your own environments, you would likely begin to analyze the most time-consuming transactions here at the top. However, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to dig straight into a transaction that I know is making distributed calls so that we can see cross-application tracing in action. I will click into the web application transaction here named Application Controller Host. We are now provided with an app server breakdown for the specific transaction over the last 60 minutes, where we can see the different calls making up this transaction. There's a big spike around 1245, which is caused by the time slice server staging call, which is a remote call to another New Relic application. Let's keep digging into this transaction so we can uncover more detailed information. Below these graphs, we can see a specific transaction trace that provides even more detail. We can see the first trace listed here is taking around 11,000 milliseconds, which is particularly long compared to the average response time of 579 milliseconds. Clicking on this trace, we now see a summary overview of this individual trace details, and we notice again an issue with the time slice service staging call, which is taking 98% of the total time. You can see that this call is also a hyperlink, which indicates a distributed call is being made to an external application. And if we were to click on it, we'd be directed into the Time Slice Service Staging Application Overview page in New Relic. Before we navigate over to the external application, let's keep looking into this trace by clicking here on Trace Details, so we can identify the exact code segments making the distributed calls. We now see a list of the method calls that are making up this trace. We can see when there are abnormally high calls being made. We can dig into the SQL statements. And here, we can see a new icon which indicates a call being made out to another application. If I click here on the stacked icon, we'll be directed into this Time Slice Service Staging Applications Transaction Summary page. Here, you're provided with the aggregated performance overview of this transaction, which shows you how this transaction has performed over time across all users and sessions. But let's not stop here, though. If we jump back to the staging application we were just in, we can scroll down and see another new icon here. If we click on this icon, we will again be taken into the Time Slice Service Staging application. However, this time, instead of being directed to the Aggregate Transaction Summary screen, we're now directed directly into the exact trace for this external call. From here again, we can click into Trace Details and dive into what is causing this transaction to be slow, and inherently affecting our staging application. Transaction traces are the most powerful way to analyze your distributed applications to really see how different tiers affect each other. There are a couple other areas within New Relic where you can monitor distributed SOA applications, so let's quickly take a look at those. Back in our staging application, if we click here on Map, we can now view the App Map Overview. We can see the end user calling into the staging application, and the staging app is making calls out to various external services, including our database, memcache, and here again you notice the time slice staging service application. You can click here and quickly navigate into that application's overview. And lastly, if we navigate up here to the external services tab, we are provided with details of the external calls the staging application is making. We can see a list of external transactions listed here, and we see the time slice service staging transaction, which is expandable and provides us the transaction details of this external call. So that's a brief overview of cross-application tracing. We hope it helps you identify and troubleshoot your apps. Thank you.